Hello guys, welcome in this new video. What are the main differences between DSD and DSD Plus? They are very similar, but they are different. I will talk to you about the principal difference, the main differences between these tools. Just before, if you want to learn how basic privacy encryption works, Motorola basic privacy, ITER basic privacy, ICOM Scrambler and any other basic privacy works on a PMR system in DMR, DPMR and XDN. I have, uh, you can find on my website on ingeniesup.com an online training, e-learning to learn how does this encryption works. This is a pet feature, but you can find it on my website if you are interested. I just place um, a link below the video. Second time, many people want to connect me, uh, to contact me over LinkedIn. It's a good idea, but don't forget, when you connect me to LinkedIn, don't forget to add a small message, add a small note to, 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 to explain why do you want to connect with me, because I often receive uh, connection and um, link connection from people that I don't know who they are. Some, sometimes it's a spam, it's, it's, uh, uh, they connect me to spam me with, uh, with a message that I, I don't want to receive. So please, if you connect with me, if you want to connect with me and to contact me, do it by LinkedIn, connect to me and add a small message. It's mandatory. If there is no message added to your connection uh, request, the message I, I will re refuse, I will abort any uh, connection to you. So I will uh, delay your uh, connection um, request. Now, let's uh, return back to our principal subject of this video. What are the main differences between DSD and DSD Plus? I will show you just now, but before credits. First question, what is DSD? What does mean DSD? DSD is the acronym of Digital Speech Decoder. This is a software a tool that run on a computer or on a Raspberry Pi, for example, on a small computer. Uh, this software must be coupled to an SDR receiver or a scanner. And this coupler, once uh, it receives a signal from a scanner or from an SDR receiver, this tool allow decoding several digital PMR network. For example, by using SDR receiver, by injecting the, the stream received by the SDR receiver, you are able to decode DMR, DPMR, NXDN, P25, uh, Yesu Fusion, uh, DSTAR, etc., etc., several digital standards, and you, you are able to hear, uh, to listen the network, and to, to see what information are inside the frame. This is a very powerful tool. Currently on the market, it exists two versions of DSD. There is DSD and DSD Plus, and there is frequently the confusion. The confusion is common. What are the main differences between DSD and DSD Plus? First, DSD. It is an open source version of DSD, so you can find it on GitHub. Many contributors added their own data, their own code to improve DSD. It has been made for Linux, but you can adapt it uh, to Windows. Personally, I run my DSD uh, over Windows by using Sigwin. And it is uh, for thinkers and hackers. If you like to, to, to change the code, to see how, how it is done, it's a good tool for you. And it has limited feature. Currently, DSD, as it is open, it don't have many functionalities, so it has some limited feature. You are able to hear the voice, but not to decode all data, for example. Now, DSD Plus. DSD Plus, this is a tool, a closed source uh, tool. It is, um, I think, uh, some features of DSD Plus uh, are got from DSD. 
This is a very complete and very efficient tool for me. It is uh, like a professional tool because uh, it had a very, very, very high. Uh, uh, it has a, a lot of feature. The interface is more intuitive than DSD. I will show you uh, the difference, uh, the interface difference between both. And but it is here. It's free. Here it's a pet feature. There it exists a free version of DSD. But if you want to have the latest version, you have to pay. You have to join the Fasten program and to send some money over PayPal by using their email address. This is the main differences between DSD and DSD+. Now, who contributes to DSD, the open source version? Many, many people. I show you a video here. As you can see here, all people all the um, all people here uh, have cloned the depot uh, have, have a github depot and they clone it sometimes they just clone it sometimes they improve the the working uh, so they improve the functionalities by adding some uh, some code in their own depot sometimes other contributors added uh, added a code in this uh, in this um, in this own deposit, so there are uh, you can find there are a lot of people that contribute to DSD. Where can I find DSD, the open source version? Just go on GitHub. I will uh, place a link below the video. This is the link to my own DSD, but you will be able to find other DSD by looking the fork different fork of the, the, the initial uh, the initial DSD uh, depot. Uh, don't hesitate to, to, to have a look. You can download it, you can modify it. It's free and open source. Now, who contributes to DSD Plus, the closed source version? I have no idea. I sent several emails to the DSD support because uh, I would like to have some information to place in this video. Currently, I have no idea. They never reply um, to my different emails. Principle, the question uh, was based on how many contributors, how many developers are inside the project, how long time uh, they did, uh, for how long time they implement the project. Uh, several questions about it. I have no reply. I don't know. Uh, maybe they are, I don't know if they are uh, they are an official uh, an official company to distribute the DSD um, version. I I don't think so, but I have no idea. No idea. I don't know what uh, who 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 does who who make the DSD Plus version. How many people? Maybe they have uh, some information from directly from radio manufacturer. Maybe uh, I don't know. I I have no idea about. It. So, who contribute to DSD Plus? I don't know. Where can I find DSD Plus? You can find DSD Plus on their website. Go on to www.dsdplus.com. You can download a free version. This is a really old version from uh, 2015. So, uh, old version. And if you want to have the latest version, you must send some money over PayPal by using their uh, instruction the detail on the Fastlane program. Uh, you have here on the screen. Um, this is a, a print uh, print screen of their um, of their um, website. You can find the different items. Don't hesitate to go on their website to have more information. DSD and DPlus, DSD Plus have two different interfaces. Here you can find this is my DSD running on Sigwin on Windows. For example, this is a, a console application. And here you will find the uh, interface of DSD Plus. It is more user friendly, more agreeable. Uh, here this is the, um, the console. On the console you will find the text, the scrolling text. And here we have you will have a second, uh, second Windows that uh, log any data received from the, the console version. So it's more friendly between this one and this one. Now, I often receive some support requests from DSD+. Many people contact me. I have problem with DSD+. 
I'm not the right person. I didn't contribute to this project. Uh, I'm not a developer of this project. So if you have any support request concerning DSD Plus, please contact the DSD Plus support. If you have, if you need some requests, some uh, support requests of DSD open source version, please open a ticket on the issue on GitHub issue section. So please don't send me uh, some receive uh, some support request if you are uh, trying to if you have some issues with DSD+. Plus. We are at the end of the video. Conclusion, it's simple. There is a difference between DSD and DSD+, Plus, so don't confuse them anymore. Now you are able to make the difference between DSD and DSD+. Plus. And I have finished this video, the final watch, uh, the, the final word, just Thanks for watching and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye.